Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today I want to talk about a rude awakening that's going to be coming to a lot of these artists in a few years. But first, I want to start on a positive note. Now we know it's easier than ever to get into the game. Part of that is because of the internet, right? We can reach out to more people. Then that other part is the increase for demand in terms of live shows. So a lot of these artists, they're able to get that recognition, and then all of a sudden they start touring and they make that money. And what's this going to do is increase what I call the music middle class. And it's gonna be just like anything else. You're still gonna have fewer at the top when you talk about the Travis Scott's, the Transfer Rappers. I'm talking about fewer at the top in terms of making money millions of dollars at the top. But you're gonna have more artists who are making thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and are able to live off of their art. But even that alone is gonna come with its own problems because artists are going to have to continue to tour, do shows to make money. A lot of these artists are gonna have to do that. So it's gonna be like a regular job. They're not gonna be making millions again so they can't just sit down go away for a few months and then come out with another album or go away for a year or two come out with another project and sound they got to stay touring stay working so they can keep getting money and then hopefully build their fan base and escape that middle class eventually truth is especially with this shortened time span a lot of these artists are really popping off in the game we're going to see a lot of these artists that need to make sure they capitalize in that period and flip it into something else to stay building because if not a lot of these artists will get a little more money it'll seem like a lot of the time and then they're going to be pushed right out back into the system and they're going to be working a regular job or maybe be at pizza hut no shade to pizza hut but i worked at pizza hut when i was 16 and nah bruh <laughs> no more and this is going to be a very regular thing for the old music industry that's dying out and the new one that's coming in but i personally think the biggest bubble that's going to burst is a perceptual bubble where a lot of people realize a lot of these numbers and a lot of this looking like winning that a lot of people are living is not really winning when they have to go to one of these other jobs or just end up having to face the reality of life which is why i always tell artists hey focus on the fans and the money the fans and the money those are the two things that you are always building up a lot of these vanity metrics it's cool but 800,000 followers doesn't mean much if you can't bring 50 people out to a show if your clout doesn't convert to actual cash I don't really want to hear much about it I promise you it's going to be a real thing where you see a lot of people transition into not living the life that you thought they were living or they're just gonna have to disappear offline period the artists who set up their moves right will probably take what they learn and fall back behind the scenes start helping other people out I just wanted to put that out there I'll go deeper than that on a time where I can actually have a conversation instead of just making a video like that but while I'm here let's also mention the more financial end of it now one thing that's really in the midst of happening as well that people aren't really necessarily paying attention to is the fact that value isn't aligning with the money that is actually being made. One of the biggest indicators of that was the fact that Billboard at some point was about to actually start counting these YouTube streams towards the Billboard's charts. That would have messed up so many things and just changed the game so much. And trust me, something like that is still happening. These record companies stopped that from happening, but they only slowed it down. A lot of this stuff is still going to happen, but the problem with something like that is if you have people charting and getting certain accolades when they aren't necessarily actually making real sales or they don't have necessarily real fans you'll have a lot of people hitting a lot of milestones and achieving a lot of things but they don't really have a lifestyle that you might necessarily associate with having these numbers you'll mess around and have an increase in one hit wonders except the new one hit wonders won't make anywhere near as much as the old one hit wonders made when they had a single hit and I'm I'm not saying none of this to be negative all i'm saying is you always have to focus on the few metrics that matter fans and money are the two if you ever forget anything just fans and money fans and money fans and money but before i leave i want to talk about the last adjustment you're going to have to make in the newer version of the music industry as it evolves and that's going to be for real for real getting rid of this idea of making hand-to-hand -hand individual record sales it's really going to be streams that's just the behavior people are going to get all their music off of a platform that they pay for or that they don't pay for maybe even you'll make money off of music when a dj plays your stuff in the club in the future because they will be able to count and track those streams with some softwares and things like that but we're really heading towards a world where everybody just consumes whatever they want without the barrier of feeling like they have to pay for it every single time your influence as an artist or any type of content creator will be your ability to actually take them and bring them into some kind of experience like a concert like a meetup like some sort of product where they're willing to do a direct trade in value by giving you money 
actually paying for it as opposed to just consuming it on a more superficial level. And once again, I'll go into this deeper at another time, but I wanted to put this out there and get some of you guys thoughts because maybe some of you have thought about this because I actually had a homie tell me to do this video when I brought it up to him about three, four months ago and I never did. So I'm like, let me just go ahead and get it out here. Definitely want to know you guys thoughts. Like it if you like it. Share it if you like it. And if you ain't subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.